Uh, so this is the Conshell bracelet. It's essentially a wearable American Sign Language translator that um, basically members of the deaf community or the speech impaired can wear. So the idea is that they would have it on their non-dominant hand, so for example here, and then they would sign finger spelled ASL with their right hand. And essentially what the microcomputer does is it basically uses a uh, kind of a computer vision algorithm that um, was developed by Google and is now open source and then we modified. And then it transfers that to a neural network that we created and translates, it basically takes that like image and it turns it into spoken word. And that's voiced out of a speaker. All of that is the dream of two 17-year-olds who used their downtime during COVID restrictions to develop this tool to help translate American Sign Language. Since then, we've just been spending like, our spare time or mostly like during the summers and breaks just working on the software, the hardware, and getting mentorship and help. We took an eight-week machine learning course online that just like taught us the basics and like the basic math behind it. Um, we reached out to a lot of like potential mentors, so we reached out to university professors and we set up these like one-time calls with them. So somebody would sign in front of their bracelet, yes, and then the bracelet would translate a vocal translation. Yeah. So the camera on the bracelet is able to cache the hand movements, and using a computer vision algorithm, it, det it detects the coordinates of the user's joints, and these joints, these coordinates points are fed through like a machine learning algorithm that sort of translates the picture or the movement that they saw into a letter. The next step is a working prototype. For example, we have a computer vision algorithm, we have the neural network, and we have a way of taking what the neural network set, like, like prints out, and turning that into a, like a spoken voice. But we still need to find a way to make sure that that can be done in one second. Along the way, getting financial and educational support through competitions, grants, and presentations to move their project along, all while learning how to do it at the same time. Overall, just by participating in pitch competitions and places where we can get support, whether it's like financial or just people like mentoring us. They hope that as team developers, they can be an inspiration to others. You have to put in like a lot of hours and you have to ask a lot of people for help and you have to struggle a lot. But almost anything is possible. So um, yeah, there, there's no barrier that stops you absolutely from doing anything. If you put in enough effort, you can do it. Well, they say they are years away from this being a completed product, but they do hope to have prototypes up and working within the next year that can be tested within the community. In Thornhill, Audra Brown, City News. Happen